Hello there, this is Richard Digens, welcoming you to the yellowcafe.co.uk. This has been my daily collection of my thoughts to help with a form of mindfulness that apparently, according to the NHS, is needed for a minimum of 10 minutes every day to keep your brain clear, to cool, to chill. I've called this project In the Advent Of. I suppose the two questions are, how did this happen? And the second question, why did this happen? We don't have the answers, we know that. But why questions have always, always made me a little bit curious. Many years ago, way back in the 1970s, I was working for the BBC and I was given a why question job. And it was for a program fronted by the satirical man of the time called Bernard Braden. Write why questions, they said. So write why questions I did. And just to make you smile in these horrible times, I thought you might like to hear them. So we'll just fade down silent night into silence and you can enjoy my rather odd sense of humour. You may have heard some of these before, but don't forget this was 1974 into 75 that they were put together. Enjoy them and smile. Why do Eskimos wear anoraks when they haven't got any trains? Why if a man talks dirty to a woman, it's sexual harassment. But if a woman talks dirty to a man, it's five pounds a minute. If man evolved from monkeys and apes, why do we still have monkeys and apes? Why do married people live longer than single people? Or does it just seem longer? Why do people who snore always go to sleep before those who don't? Why questions like these we hear time after time, but here for the first time they've been put into rhyme. Why is there only one Monopolies Commission? And are there more spots on a teenage leopard? Why have we all seen thousands of German sheepdogs but none of us have ever seen a German shepherd? And if the Enterprise boldly went where no man has gone, who are all the people that Captain Kirk meets? And why do clairvoyants have doorbells? Surely they know just walk down their streets. Who invented the word lisp? If you've got one, you can't say it. And from speech, we move on to sight. If a rabbit's eyesight is so bloody good, why has so many run over at night? Why is the rush hour called the rush hour at a time when everything crawls? And what were those white things we wrapped in our clothes? Now we all know that moths don't have balls. Why is dyslexic such a hard word to spell and such an incredibly hard word to say? And how do dyslexic people do the movements to YMCA? Why do people say they're buying a curry when they're only renting it for a couple of hours? Why do bath towels have to be washed when we're clean when we get out the showers? Why when you empty a washing up bowl no matter how hard you try, you won't spot them. No matter how many times you check with your hands, there's always two spoons at the bottom. What did cured ham have before it was cured? Why does the phone ring when you get in the bath? Why do people say pardon me when they belch, yet when they fart they go bright red and laugh? With regards to the population of China, why are they all so incredibly small? And yet in their takeaway restaurants, they build their restaurants and counters so tall. Why is abbreviation such a bloody long word? Why don't they make bigger tins for sardines? Why is a wrong number never engaged? Why do you never bake tins of baked beans? With evaporated milk, if it's evaporated, I wonder what the tin contains. And if bran is supposed to make you regular, why not give it to the blokes who drive trains? Why did kamikaze pilots wear crash helmets, knowing they were doing themselves in? Why have planes' toilets got frosted glass, 
Who the bloody hell's going to look in? Why doesn't super glue get stuck in the tube? How do guide dogs know where to go? How do snowplow drivers get to work when the roads are 10 feet under snow? How do they make Teflon stick to a frying pan? Who did Alexander Graham Bell ring? And if you're sending polystyrene to someone, what do you pack the stuff in? And if the blind wear dark glasses, why don't the deaf wear earmuffs? Why do athletes get injured more than us? Why did your mum make you put on clean pants in case you got hit by a bus? Why isn't phonetic spelt how it sounds? Why is there a sell-by date on sour cream? Why isn't there another word for thesaurus? Are clogs as clever as some people seem? Why are blueprints always black? When you know that blueprints should be blue ones. And why do new age travellers drive old caravans and old travellers drive new ones? What are occasional tables the rest of the time? Why do people laugh their socks off? No idea. And finally, have you ever wondered if the people in Glockamara wonder how things are over here? And together, we're going to enjoy the next few weeks. Also, equally happy to be part of it. And the video was produced by Charlie Murray. The music was uh, played by me, Richard Digence, in my studio in Salisbury. Always visit Yellow Cafe. There's always stuff going on there. It's fun. 
is uh, frivolity, lots of art, beautiful, beautiful art. So don't forget, pop in as and when you feel like it, theyellowcafe.co.uk. I will see you tomorrow. Keep safe and well and have nice thoughts. Bye-bye.